in this matrix, there are several shapes and patterns that repeat throughout the matrix. Uh, one of those shapes is this big bold cross, big bold horizontal line, and the big bold vertical line. These three repeat throughout the matrix. The other things that repeat throughout the matrix are the backgrounds of each element. We've got horizontal stripes, vertical stripes, and then this plaid pattern. And let's focus on these backgrounds for just a moment. See if we can see what patterns of logic lie underneath. If we take a look at this diagonal right here, we can see that every element in the diagonal has that plaid background, which tells me that this is a two, four, nine diagonal um, logic pattern. And as we can see here, three, five, and seven all have the plaid background. Elements one, six, and eight all have the vertical stripe background. So elements two, four, and our mystery element of nine should all have the horizontal line background, which means we can eliminate answer choice B, E, and F. And we can also eliminate C because we haven't seen um, this pattern of the big black bold um, shapes. So we can, we can get rid of C as well. So between A and D, how are we going to be able to tell the difference? Well, we need to go back to our original. And we need to see if there's any pattern in these big, bold um, shapes. And unfortunately, there is not. You may be tempted to see if there is one of each in every row. But if you look at all the rows and all the columns, sometimes the big, bold shapes repeat themselves. And so it, it really is randomly set up, which means we just need to take stock of how many times each shape appears to find our missing piece. We have two appearances of the cross, three appearances of the horizontal line, and three appearances of the vertical line. So what we're missing is another cross, answer choice A.